actually. Uh, yeah, just one question because I joined this uh, for the first time. So I saw in your notes uh, you are you specified about the parking lot also, right? Yes. So was that completed or? So the cases which we tried to solve in parking lot, which were two cases, is uh, whether the parking would be available or not, and if yes. So uh, other thing, other question was, uh, uh, correct me or see me if I'm wrong, like uh, to return the parking slot. So that Actually, was- Actually, we did two things, park the car and mm -hmm. unpark the car. Okay, okay. Yeah, oh, and also okay. we can return that slot if a little bit uh, more solution would needs to be done. But uh, the main part which was covered is like maintaining, creating a classes, objects, how it would be related to so that part was done. Okay, I'll go through the record, no problem, thank you. Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, so here, if you, uh, shall I share my screen for the coder pad or you, you like? Yeah. I I think you can share your screen and open the coder pad there. Okay. Okay. And everyone can see my screen? Yes. So the problem which we tried to solve today is a blackjack game. So what this game is about? If anyone has any uh, know about this game and want to uh, explain that, please welcome. So, well, I just know it's a poker game, but I really don't know how it is played. Uh, so, poker game is a little bit different of the black chain game, I suppose. Okay. Or it's free. Even I'm not, I'm not sure about the poker game actually. Okay, no problem. Uh, so, uh, so there are uh, basically, which I know, there are two. Uh, there, there are a dealer. Here is dealer and a player. And uh, so the main target is like, you you need to reach one particular car target, which is for example, target is twenty one, and that target. And whosoever has uh, reached that particular target, map, for example, dealer or player. If dealer reached the target, then then uh, the game is um, like player lost the game. And uh, if player has more value, um, which is near to the twenty one, the player won. The only cases uh, which here is like here. The so there is a uh, ace, uh, one suite is ace, and if that ace card can be counted as one or eleven. So for example, if uh, someone has uh, someone has twenty number like or eighteen, it can't take eleven, and if it uh, so if uh, that particular player has a uh, ace left, then it needs to get it's it needs to return only one from that. It it can't count oh, as seven. So basically, I think what is like uh, other cards uh, like king, king, queen, they all have ten value. And the face cards uh, will be face cards which are greater than ten, uh, which is like king, queen, uh, jack. So they'll all be all be. Uh, they all count as 10. So if somebody has two face cards, then mm -hmm. that person will use ace as a one. Otherwise, it's up to that person how to use the ace one or 11. Yes. So he has to make a target of 21. Yeah. Yes, yes. exactly. Okay. Okay. And uh, so if he, more, though, more if he goes clo uh, greater than 21, then also uh, he he loses. And I was looking uh, this uh, leaked code, and there was somebody asked this uh, put that question. I'm gonna put it here. Okay. So that was the uh, 
problem statement so the two people are playing the dealer and the player the dealer makes two cards one of them is hidden the player okay. gets two cards after that he can choose hit or stand get one more card or get, give dealer the move okay so yeah so this is the same thing which i was uh, explaining so which is like all face cards are worth 10, 10 except for the ace which can be 1 or 11 depending on the situation so for example i like if it is i had 10 and i have an ace i can i can i have an ace left then i quickly take ace as 11 because it will be it will give me more chances of reaching towards 21 okay so um so what are the uh, so uh, are we good on the requirements are we trying to solve this entire problem so the main problem which uh, here i think we need to solve is um uh, whether uh, player wins or lose okay so i uh, i have a question like yes. uh, why so you know at, at what point the player can stop drawing i mean stop taking the card so let's say suppose they they are 16 can they stop or they have to keep taking the card until like so at that i uh, i think uh, what here it is mentioned uh, for a given card there are two people the dealer the dealer takes two cards and one of them is hidden the player gets two cards after that he can choose to hit or stand okay so he can stand at any any point yeah he can uh, if he wants to uh, i think i think hit i'm not i'm not sure what does hit or stand means hit means that uh, it is enough like he wants to show the cards or i think or stand means maybe he wants to play more i think or it can be reverse i'm not sure what hit or stand means over here so get one more card or give the dealer the move which means over here for example if uh, if player don't wants to move ahead or pick a card it can take it can tell the dealer that it's your move and dealer can make a move okay so one point over here is the dealer makes a move if his total value of card is less than 17 yes okay the dealer can only make a move if the total value is less than 17 if it is uh, greater than 17 the dealer also cannot be make a move and i think the game can stop over there okay so when uh, he has two cards the player because initially the dealer will has two card one is hidden so are the two cards of the player also hidden or they are visible to him so because based on that he will take a decision right whether he should move so uh, it's player decision that if for example if player if player chooses player has two cards and uh, he and his total is less than uh, maybe uh, less than or 10 not maybe he wants to play ahead then he can choose i think they can he can choose the card otherwise uh, if if he has after getting two cards uh, if uh, it's enough for him then i think he'll not be able to move ahead is that the main point so now i was thinking like the dealer has two cards one is hidden one is not hidden so maybe the player also has the same thing uh, or like he uh, can actually look for both the cards because based on that he is going to make a move right yeah yeah exactly yeah that i i think i'm not clear about that maybe i don't know the game therefore yeah uh let me uh, see uh, that game if but anyway i don't think that is required for our requirement right it, it might be just a game right yeah it's just a game uh, and uh, we can check the rules uh, quickly uh, i can check the rules it's it says that the goal of the blackjack is to beat the dealer's hand without going over 21 i i'll paste these codes so basic 
Okay. So these are the basic rules. The goal of the blackjack is to beat the dealer's hand without going over 21. Face cards are worth 10. Aces are 1 or 11, which makes a better hand. Each player starts with two cards. One of them, one of the dealer's card is hidden and, uh, until the end. Okay, so they, it's mentioned that each player starts with two cards, and like there are, so they are saying in these in this it is mentioned that there can be chances of more than uh, one player mm -hmm. can play. So one one of the dealer's card is hidden until the end. To hit is asked to is is to ask for another card. To stand is to hold your total and end your turn. Okay, to stand means your total is done and you don't want to uh, go over like it's like uh, I think in poker what it's called just stop something yeah so, just give uh, over yeah I think we don't have to solve everything if it comes also in a real interview we might not end up uh, doing everything all okay. the game rules only we can pick some few specific things uh, mm -hmm. and uh, and try to solve it that makes sense uh -huh. Anybody, uh, if anyone can see, uh, the recording has started or not? Yeah, because yeah, the... it's, it's, it's going on, yeah. Okay, okay, thank you. So, uh, I think what could be a requirement is uh, uh, players can, player can pull the card and at any point I can evaluate player score. Okay, so the problem which we are trying to solve, like to evaluate... Player score. That's correct. Yeah, and player could be able to pull a random card, or yeah, or yeah, player can pull a card from the. So I'm, I'm I'm writing down the requirements. So uh, so first of all is to evaluate the player score, and uh, like what's the score at particular point of the player and. Uh, other thing is before that also can we assume that the deck is a standard 52 card set <laughs> yes. yeah yeah, that's good that, right? yeah yeah it's... i think uh, we can uh, we can put that in requirements so 52 cards deck okay. yeah two cards 52 at... cards sorry i didn't get it so 52 cards set yeah yeah pick two cards no uh, we are telling uh, I, are we we should also clarify it's a 52 cards deck so generally the oh, card, okay. cards are 52 and there are how many face cards i forget four so face really cards clarify uh, that uh, with the interviewer four face cards and other things so yeah. it shouldn't happen the interviewer should not think hey the person never asked about uh, okay right. how many Makes cards are there. at least talk with him right yeah talk Makes with sense. him yeah uh, so uh, we need to evaluate the player score. Fifty-two cards. We give need a to card. Check it. To give a card. Sorry. Give a card. Yeah, player would. Just, we have to give a card to the player. Whenever. Pull a card. I think player need to pull a card. No, initially the dealer will actually. Uh, Dealer will actually distribute that right to the player as well as to himself, correct? Mm -hmm. Then uh, after that he will pull a card, correct? Mm -hmm. So I think goals are here that define. Uh, first we have to de define the cards and deck and whatever, mm -hmm. and then try to. So solve. Uh, so main thing is like we have for example if I go with. Uh, go with our requirements, we need to have a dealer. These uh, are the entities, yeah. I just need, I just, I'm just writing down what are the entities which, uh, which would require right now. Uh, dealer. Okay. Uh, player. Sorry. How many player we have? So one. we can assume over here we are, right now we are uh, going with a dealer and a player. Single player, one right? Player. Yeah. Player. Okay. To make it more uh, like in MV MVP, uh, more in MVP pattern. Entities, okay. we can have a deck as also an entity, 
deck yeah. of cards deck of cards correct deck of cards yeah okay. then card so, uh, again we can have card also an entity right mm-hmm. yeah a single card is also an entity mm-hmm. and and the game as well because we need mm-hmm. to start the game no, that is not an entity i think Okay. G- game, you mean to say a hand, like when he pulls something and he has those two cards with him? Oh yeah, that's kind of a thing. Yeah, game because how we'll be um, starting a game, something game, or distributing the cards. Or uh, because I think there's two things we need to start the game, like whose turn is this, and everything. I think which will be covering comes in a game. and hand is basically uh, for hand would be come both for the dealer and player because they needs to check what are the cards in their hand okay i think so maybe that can be a function in the game itself okay yeah i think yeah we can keep it as in can work uh game uh, i game is like a start thing i think which is a main function i'll say yeah Game. Maybe like a single turn class, something like that, right? Yeah, single turn something. I, I, I'm just saying. I'm just thinking loudly. <laughs> Maybe I'm not right. Also, yeah. yeah uh, we can just mention that in a parking lot as a parking lot. Okay. okay. So uh, I think we uh, the this sounds good to me. And uh, for to start the thing. Uh, so basically, I think we need to start with a. making a card class and uh, uh so the card class what other what entities i need to mention in this uh card will have now attributes right yes yeah. i'm yeah. writing in a python so basically if so card should have. take two attributes what is a suit and yeah. the uh, point value point or value yeah uh-huh. and then you can have suit as a separate you can create a enum or a, uh, or yeah yeah that can be yeah because sweet uh, we know that sweet has a uh, i can create the enum of it so sweet is basically uh or oh, the four ones okay yes which the is like spade spade heart yeah diamond club i think one more is there i don't remember uh, it's a flower or what they call it okay let's let it be Oh, oh yeah, they call it. Yeah, I don't know. Right? Yeah, okay. Like, I think uh, I'm not sure about this, but uh, yeah, I think it is called as club, club. Sorry, yeah. Okay, club. Okay, so uh, so these are the four uh, sweet. I think we need to make the numbers as well because we know we'll be having thirteen. uh uh 13 number so, <clears throat> how do we deal with the value because you know sometime for the s the value could be 1 or could be 10 are we uh is so, that yeah, the responsibility I, uh, of the card to to know what the value is uh no i think uh, that could be responsibility of the player to If if the player has ace, the responsibility it's the responsibility of the player to evaluate as one or eleven. Here we can give any value to ace. I think we can give one, or we can. Yeah, give... we need to give uh, now the because that's that's uh, I think that's uh, up to when we call that ace. And when, for example, if when we when we drop when we pull the card and we see ace and we want to, it's up to the player's choice. He wants to go with the ace as one or eleven. Right now, I think we need to keep this as. Is as one only. We can give anything. We can give one. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just writing over here like uh, we have values as well. 
But do we need this class value or enum, whatever we call it? Because that can be just a value in the card, right? Anyway, we have that. Mm -hmm. So what I am thinking is basically if we have a more than a jack, queen, king. They all, uh, they all will have 10 value. Yes. Yeah. And if we want to match it something, like whether this value is this or not, I think what I am thinking. Okay. Yeah. I think right now I can make it a parking lot. Let okay. it be. You can comment like for now. Yeah. Uh, so what other functionalities of the card would be uh, something uh, like what's the suit? The get and set would be there. Right. Uh, which would be return returning suite. Uh, I think uh, uh, over here only we can set our value. For example, yeah, we don't need a set. Yeah, once it is set, it should be remain like that. Set value, which is uh, maybe uh, we don't use set value. Does Python have the constructor? We just pass it in because set value would mean we be able to, you know, set the value. Uh, yeah. Modify the value, but this value one also. should be immutable. Okay, so I think we need to put it get value then. Mm -hmm. the value, yeah. So sense. here, I think if if uh, if I am thinking like if self dot value is greater mm -hmm. than ten. Why we are doing that? Like if I want to give the if I, if particular person wants to check a value, it I want to just make sure that value. I went, I want to make sure that the value uh, whose value is greater than ten uh, just needs to return ten value. No, but uh, we are setting ten only. Yeah, that is what we said. Like other than the colors, the jack, queen, and king. Yeah. Yeah, and the rest will be the numbers. Yeah, one to nine. Except the yeah. Uh, so what? So this is like uh, you are mentioning. This can be on when we start the game. We'll just. No, no. We are saying telling uh, for Jack, uh, Queen will always give ten value. So you just can return value here. Yeah, we don't need to get. Just return the value from there. Yeah, correct. Okay. But how do you know, you know, it a jack or a, uh, a queen? You need to have an enum or some sort, right? I think also I'm thinking in that way. Yeah. Like but how would so, so if, if, if you are returning a self value as one, so it can be an ace, right? Or if it is 10, then it is going to be a queen, jack or the king, correct? But yeah, but where we are setting that value because right now we are what uh, for example uh, the card is when we because when we'll be when we create when we create create that uh, deck we'll be assigning the numbers to fifty two and sorry thirteen and that no 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 that's what I'm telling we'll not assign thirteen we'll okay. assign or or it could be like assign thirteen and then have extra logic here. I think we can uh, make that class first. Deck. Okay. Um, yeah, deck should be okay. So we to can make have it more clear. Aggregation of all the cards. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I think deck would be. Um, yeah, deck is deck should not have any parameter. Any parameter, yes. But deck should have that uh, list of cards. Okay, so if uh, then you have to create a deck uh, in the constructor itself, or you can create another method, private method. 
to create a deck. So here we have to, yeah, play around with. So here, uh, what I'm thinking is like. Uh, so we'll be setting we'll like a suite or a value, right? For yeah. all the 13. Maybe yeah, something we... like a for loop or something like that. Oh, yeah. So I think yeah. then we might need some way to yeah, identify. Uh, so first you have we have to go for yeah. Right. In the range. Uh -huh. 13, I think. One, two, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so here we will be creating uh, self dot list cards dot append, uh, which is card mm -hmm. uh, suite would be I M J like something like this. Uh, if you put if you give a number, how it will pull? Yeah, you'll have to give suite there right in the range. Uh, I'm I not sure whether that be, I think I'll be giving this. No, but you already have defined that suite at the top as a enum, right? So you can actually. Will that not work? No, that is the enum. So okay. you have to traverse the enum some way. I don't know how to traverse in Python, but uh, Java it's pretty straightforward. I think I can just uh, for uh, I can say like for suite in. Okay, if, if it is possible, then yeah, you just need to send then, yeah. Yeah, then here would be like suite and number. Uh, the number I'm thinking we will be basically going for one, two. It's the upper range, which is like one to 13, it will go. Okay, then you might need extra logic there if anything is greater than uh, Yes. Yeah, that's what I am thinking. If then uh, just make if J is greater than ten, then just put J is equal to ten. And then... oh, we can't change. Uh, yeah, J. we we should not because we need to know whether a Jack oh, yeah. Queen or thing. No, but that is it. Uh, okay. Because if you make ten, there's I no hope. No I can assign no. another variable, something like. No, that. you can still go with that, and then, uh, uh, then in your card class, uh, change the logic. Right, right. In the card, just yeah. make it if it's more than ten, uh, more than nine, make it a yeah. ten. Yeah. The uh, constructor itself. Yeah. In the constructor over here. No, 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 no. Just create uh, another method uh, in your uh, card class. Like get uh, get actual value or something. So get value I've already created. Y yeah, think in that way. You are not playing a blackjack. Can I use this? Then get value should give me actual value. It should not give me any random value. So just telling, uh, thinking out loud that we should have a separate. Uh, some another method which will oh, okay. like logic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so no, actually... You don't need to pass the, any value here. It should return a value. Yeah. I think the um, the value uh, should be an enum too. So it's like ace, one, two, three, four, five, and then you, you know, jack, queen, and king. So... Yeah. <clears throat> But actually, we parked it for now, so we thought we'll mm -hmm. just go with the numbers now, and then maybe yeah. we can return back now, later. You know? Now here you can put that logic which you are doing earlier. If the if value is uh, something like that, if it's in ten, then return ten. Yeah. Otherwise, just return zero. So now, so now this is a separate method. If you just defining a deck and uh, card, they, that won't uh, spoil the deck and card. So, right. you know, if you get value, it return 10. How does a user know if 10 is a jack or return 11? 
a user no, no a user will call ex, uh, actual value yeah or, but they, they want to get a value too right that's why we define a get value so for example the if we'll be checking if the card has a if we'll be getting the value from the card and we'll be checking that uh, card, for example, over card over here is 14, uh, for example, 13, then it will will be passing like get actual, this is, I'll be saying like get actual value. So of that card, mm -hmm. we need to get, so if that value is, autom if it, that value is greater than, than 10, uh, which is 13 is greater than 10, will, it will directly return 10 value. This yeah. would be, this I would think be uh, we should later. move ahead. Uh, this looks okay for now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so what's in your deck card? Uh, you I think we need to, to shuffle the card as well. Okay, shuffle. Shuffle would be the public, I think. Mm -hmm. But what? What actually you would do? Plan to do here? Shuffle. We need so to shuffle the cards. When you create a deck, after that you will shuffle also. Otherwise, everything will be in the list. Anybody can guess it. Or oh, you randomize it, right? In that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Got. It. I'm not sure about. I think some yeah, logic. Yeah, just comment it. That's it. Yeah, some, it. yeah. Some logic would be there. Yeah, we don't have to mention it. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. You yeah. just comment and yeah. But in your constructor now, you need to uh, do create deck and shuffle. Uh, actually, uh, over here, I need to mention like if somebody is trying um, for card, then I need to call this private, no, method, of, yeah. private method of create and deck. And then after that, just shuffle it. Okay. I think for the, now, this is enough. And then you can, I think deck needs on more method, remove... Uh, Card. That's uh, which would be just popping from the first, or like. Uh, it will just remove one card from the deck from of cards. the top. Okay. Yeah. Um, Did you know how many cards still uh, <clears throat> still left over? We need to count how many cards still oh, there. Like, like the list cards will have that information. Okay. List so this. Cards? List yeah. card will have the size. This would be having the size. Uh, this because we are pending over here. But you want to check if the size is zero, then throw some exception. Uh, okay. Okay, so here the remove card means when the player or the dealer is actually extracting yeah. a card, yeah. so yeah. you use this function. In, and if think if it is not a black. I think it should be okay. Just throw exception. I think ex throw exception is back there. Or might be none is also fine. For, for now, yeah, none is okay. Exception. Some kind of exception. Otherwise, it will return from the. So basically, it should return from exception. the top or from the top. Yeah, it should return from the top. Yeah, because we have already shuffled it. Yeah. I think you need to throw exception, not return exception. I'm just like writing down um, exception, something like that. Okay. Uh, okay, so remove okay. card. So deck would be having these. Um, I think we are good with deck for now. So basically, okay. if you are just creating a, a card game, these two things are needed: a deck and a card. And yeah. these could be a property. Okay. Now what? I think we need to make a dealer. First, we want to create, I think, a player. Uh, uh, dealer is a kind of a player just with extra, I think, functionality. So can we call uh, the something like a user class, generic, and then... Uh... Maybe we a have player a player there. Think, uh, player should be fine. Player can be both. Yeah, I the think. player would be fine for now. We okay. can, you know, explain. And so player. you're saying a this special player. attribute to dealer, okay? Yeah. No, this is, uh, I think, abstract. How we denote. Okay. So you. So, so then that means you are creating a dealer, a separate class, 
and then you will create a black jack player a separate class and which would do okay. which would be the child classes of this player like mm-hmm. okay then okay first let's define what player will hold yeah so first you will hold the number of uh, cards uh, yeah player should have uh, what should be the instructor uh, in the constructor uh, it should get some kind of identifier for player like a name uh, also a, a id actually id let it mm-hmm. be also it has a player needs to have those cards no yeah yeah it, it should hold the cards but that yeah. should not uh, i don't know in python you can even create outside cons- uh, constructor other than the can create keyboard? like this we can create like this in fact okay so that mean okay then what else i think okay it's in i think we need uh, we can move ahead so what what would be the main functionality of the player uh, so i want score get total points get score um which needs to be uh, it whatever the cards it, it yeah, has yeah i think first let's define all the method thing then come back to score okay uh, get score what uh, else other thing is like uh, i'm thinking uh, how if there is a uh, any count of aces are there no that will when we are doing get score that will i'll be doing everything for me so what i am thinking is uh, whenever it is whenever the card the player pull the card and something it will count ace how many aces are there and if then at uh, okay. he can like for example yes. uh, for example if the card uh, ace is uh, total is total is 12 and it, it can and it, uh, and it has the uh, the player has the ace left then it can choose uh, that many aces it he wants so you are saying draw something draw a card no no i think uh, draw no add card something i think okay. it's a player is drawing so you is. can actually remove use that remove card in that uh, deck yeah uh, no. add card in add card deck i think and it should take a card it would be adding those card in the cards list yeah yeah so basically uh, i think they call it like hang what is in player's hand mm-hmm. okay so i think that is so now i think the tricky part is but you told uh, uh, you will also uh, increase the ace count yes which so, is yeah. like uh, uh, that should be in the add card only mm. okay so i'll be checking over here if yeah. card dot actual uh, no card dot uh, value i think right yeah card dot value card dot get actual value mm-hmm, mm-hmm. actual value if it is greater than Uh, it will be equal to 1 okay then you can count self dot count cases you can increase this plus is plus is equal to and it will append that card over here as well no you already appended it already yeah uh, no i am thinking i am saying this would be like this only yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. uh so that player needs to have a total count as well over here which total well, we have that to get score right that will give me the total count uh, but uh, in a constructor i'm thinking why uh, so I, i ask get score it will give me a score that so i get to score will return some number value yeah that... you just return from the method why you want to define as a bloody very so yeah in method only what uh, again yeah, need to return some like total so or something you create a local variable and compute it and return i don't think so we need a global variable for that because once you set it uh, and first of all anybody can use it 
you are not making it private so get score you can actually on the fly you can look for what yeah, the cards you fly. have yeah. we don't need a uh, like a special yeah. variable for it yeah that's fine yeah okay so i right now i'm matching over here total After yeah but uh, we, so you we want to come back and do get score implementation because i think that is one requirement of this uh, question yes yeah um so okay. what are the requirements can you go up uh... so 50 cards that is done so okay right now uh, okay so okay we can come back first like define all our entities and then come back so i think now you need a dealer dealer which would uh, take that player Hmm. Mm -hmm. So we can make this guy's ID as zero or something very unique. No, so, we can give a, the game will send the ID for that. That is, we will be creating like right now. No, okay. why you are putting zero? It should be either a variable or. A... But then, how do we differentiate between a dealer and? Because, because I think we were using that's the player. Deal, deal, that's why we're creating a dealer class. So when dealer someone is... call, when someone call, it will give some ID that would pass over here. I think. No, that's why that's, that's a dealer object. We can. That's how it will identify itself. I think you just need to pass that in the constructor the ID. Okay, you mean to say the the game will assign the dealer well mm -hmm. id or something so it will mm -hmm. be very specific okay. we can send zero that time but like when we are creating when from the main function when we are doing the dealer and then we'll be passing the id then at that time uh, it will automatically take that yeah we don't need to pass from here what you're trying to say okay then you need also the blackjack player that would be another class Also from player, mm -hmm. I think it would be same. Uh, so there would be different functionality of the dealer and the blackjack player. Uh, something like uh, right now we haven't defined that because we didn't go that deep. They would have their own uh, uh, methods like. Uh, they either they want to play or not but uh, so other thing one uh, one quick thing which i am thinking is like they need to uh, draw the card as well we are adding the card uh, they need to draw the card i think game will assign the card no uh, the drawing the card because they need to draw only two cards from the list of the cards so from the deck not that is a game property Yeah, because you will use the add a card of the player and keep on adding two cards that initially right when he starts the game uh but uh because each player each player would have their different uh total so that would also be the game property because game will be overloaded then at that time no i think let's come back to that because we are not solving actually that thing yeah okay so okay so in the game actually first we have to yeah initialize or maybe start the game by distributing two two cards to both of them right yeah so initially what game would hold game would hold the deck of cards Yeah. Is equal to it will call the deck class. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Then it will create that. Then it need a dealer. We call the dealer with some ID. Yeah. 
zero. And then it needs the player. Flag check player. I think so. So in this dealer also, you can say like a self dot player. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because these two are different. Mm -hmm. That will be one. Uh, so I think uh, needs to needs to assign two different total, which is for the dealer and for the player. Uh, so I initially, think... go ahead. Yeah. So initially, he will distribute two two cards to both of them, right? So that uh -huh. should be done in the constructor. No, I think that would be a play something. We need to run or play something. Okay. So, so when you click play, then the whole action will start. So it will distribute two two cards, which is uh, to both of them. So first, it will. Uh, Uh, self dot let's say player dot add so, card. So the play will have a complete state machine, right? Hmm. So you, initially you are, you'll have some initial state. At that time, you will actually assign two two cards, and then you actually when you assign, then you will move from that initial state to your execution state right so it will keep on going in a while loop there yeah then inside there should be some kind of a while loop yeah Where? so i think uh, it's for now it's enough uh, you have you can only define play. it would be have play or uh, some other thing but so so right now what here it is like uh, i am adding a card to the player by removing that card from the deck yeah, I think for now that is fine. You just you have a play method which will do all the magic. I think so this same thing needs to be done for the dealer as well. Yeah, you can just copy. That's not a problem. For now, it's just assign one one card. I think, and then we can go ahead. One or two, like it will take two. I think okay. Let's assign two cards, and so and then yeah, then. I think now let's come to the main core logic. If you go up, uh, like in in this play class only, we have we should have something like uh, uh, get winner. Get winner or game class only like get get score. Uh, get winner. Get winner. Or something like that. So the act would now be computing their card. Okay, so here would be the logic would come like uh, player would. So player would. Uh, so we are uh, not going into entire logic mm -hmm. for now. Uh, so that's what I am thinking. Like uh, we have those two cards, and player over here would be having uh, this blackjack player would be having. Uh, Cards. So, yeah. And I, yeah. I'm thinking like just return the score from directly over here. Yeah. So and now the main the actual yeah the actual computation is there. So yeah, so, so, so basically mm -hmm. give me a second I will add it to thing. Okay. Just go ahead. So, so after this there should be some while loop which will be keep on executing. Mm -hmm. And then here there would be some some logic. Which would be calling that uh, get score. So now our, uh, I think uh, our entire uh, logic itself lives there. What was that? Uh, uh, that if uh, if the value is whether it should take uh, one or ten. Uh -huh. I would say so like a dealer dot actual level. score equals. No, no actually, I'm thinking like uh, mm -hmm. like. Uh, this is fine for now. Here we will do some magic. But the actual thing is in that get score if you go up. This. Yeah, so we need to implement this guy. Yeah. So how you will implement it. So at the end, interviewer actually wants you to uh, 
want uh, to get some logic out of this so that's so what it would be me. like uh, it needs to traverse that car so now you have to now you have to give me a score now here the trick is whether you want uh, a says 1 or 11 like now that trick will come into picture yeah so if you can able to write this logic i think uh, that is good so let it be like uh, if i am traversing those cards which is a list and by the way this is itself a separate interview question which get asked like hey, if you have this 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 how you will give me a score which is closer to 21 okay so yeah in this range actually what you can do is you can keep on adding you to your total but when you have an ace okay either you add it 11 or 1 so, so based I, on what your total is going to be correct no i think first do a total without ace okay yeah that also makes sense so if and there is a don't add yeah then at the end decide whether you want to add ace or not correct yeah like there are could be lot of other ways so needs to add add that card value uh, for no sorry here first you have to check if it is a card value is 1 uh the page okay so here okay the logic if card dot get get actual value or value get actual value i think we already going with the uh, no we are not get actual value is equal to 1 not oh, sorry not uh, not not equal to 1 then just uh, keep on total getting a total and if uh, so we can check right now over here as well if uh, our total is greater than 21 yeah if our total is 21 you di directly return yeah total is yeah if your total is greater why why because uh, i am thinking like if uh, total is greater than 21 no, and something is greater than 21 uh, then just return 21 that's it no greater than 21 then i and my if uh, aces are left then th there is no uh, see if the score is greater than 21 that won't help in the game that person is already losing so you can just return uh, 21 okay if... or whatever the actual score it should be outside of for loop why because but we can direct it count we, out we can even we are, do there also that is also yeah. fine yeah total is greater than 21 then just return total i'm thinking uh, how will be these count aces will be utilized it because will be utilized now if you come out of for loop it will get utilized okay. you are saying while uh, No, 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 no
okay self sorry self taught god yes yes hmm. self taught uh, yeah and if uh, if uh, total plus 11 hmm it's less than 21 then uh, i'll be returning this uh, no, sorry no. reducing this no, no why you want to reduce that okay i don't need it yes yeah, just to add total plus equal to 11 yeah else just add uh, one one that's it that's all i was telling like you don't need to bother about your crossing 21 or doing that that you you'll do some kind of mistake there and even at 10 you can remove that 109 also where 109 line 109 this hmm. you can comment for now so what this method is doing whatever total it is uh, if it is first it will compute without traces and then based on number of aces it will uh, uh, if the if total is less than uh, 21 it will actually it should be less than equal to 21 mm -hmm. yeah we can analyze on that later on so yeah that is good for now yeah but i'm telling this is excel for interview question absolutely yeah because you yeah. know if we have more than one aces then how are we dealing with that that is also yeah. problem, right? i got once this interview question and really? i i totally got blank what to do <laughs> yeah because i thought uh, i thought it is a uh, I, somehow i thought it's a, I, i over complex myself i thought it's a kind of a dp problem that oh you have multiple uh, options but no it's not multiple option you, you either uh, uh, use it as 11 if it is reach 21 then don't use like 11 that's it okay so it was a design question no no, no no just this get score was a question oh, okay <laughs> sometimes at least initially you, it's better to be sim simple and then yeah that's when really like be simple in this case otherwise if you com come complicate a uh, lot of conditions won't uh, help here like it's very simple condition i think uh, now i remember interviewer also at then told me do something like that and then i did and uh, but he didn't uh, pass me <laughs> that's okay okay so uh so we so the get score will calculate those value and here if we want to check the winner here so basically it, there are more things to this not a get winner there are a lot of conditions based on the score uh i think like we paste this link uh, one link and we can just go through that and then just wrap this up but but we have solved all our use cases which yeah. we have uh, discussed if you go up a bit if you can go up a bit our requirement so we told okay evaluate player score uh 52 that, cards and four face cards yeah. distribution of cards also we did kind of and uh, not exactly but uh, to start the game yes and we created one dealer one player so we met what we discuss in the requirements but if you want to see actual thing i have sent that link okay oh that is what the lead code of one right okay mm -hmm. oh. can you open that uh one second so but this should be sufficient right as per yeah for now this yeah. is sufficient but uh, it again depends what your interviewer want, want. uh it's better to create empty methods and say like okay we'll come back to that later do you want me to share that yeah if you just you are already sharing your screen just open that another tab okay so can you see yeah yeah okay so here uh, you can do read more this is hmm. so this is i think what we did we created that class 
shuffle, remove card. I think this is fine. Then we have this. Uh, so if you see here, uh, there are two methods for abstract methods for player. Get, uh, can play, want to play. Uh, I am not able to see. Let me see. Oh, no, okay. like you can play a little bit top. This one. No, no. If you go to abstract player. Class, if oh go, yeah, can play and want to play. Yeah, so that was the abstract or method. Or something like that. Yeah, which the player will implement or dealer will implement with their own logic. Okay. But yeah. that get score point will... No, that is common. So that's why it is in the abstract class. Okay. Okay, ah, they, they also mentioned something like this only. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then he is returning this uh, two string as a name also. So, yeah, so just like to display. Another, yeah. 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 What that name depicts? A dealer or maybe our player name, something like that. I, yeah. That's an extra thing. Yeah, I think. So, who <laughs> wins? Yeah. so, yeah, this thing is like in a black chair. So, oh, basically, okay. now this is telling if a, if a blackjack player. Mm -hmm. You have if can play means get total points should be less than 21. Okay, and want to play is uh, less than 17. Mm -hmm. Means, uh, okay, so uh, here the simple the strategy, is to strategy could be elaborated as long as count is lower than 17. So, basically, if I have count less than 17, I I'm still in a position to get another card. Looks like that. Okay, and if that can play is, is if the get total point is less than twenty one, it's up to the player. He wants uh, to. I don't know. Might be the game will decide. We can see, go down and see if it goes down. Mm -hmm. And then I think this is a dealer. Dealer also have a can deal. play is turn twenty one and want to play. Dealer will keep playing until either he beats the player or goes. Oh, okay. So it is always true. Okay. So he's not going to get any points there? Mm -hmm. Get total points, it is like return, get total points if it is less than 21. Okay. So I so think more even is like always the dealer will play. Okay, yeah. Okay, because so this is, an, this is an extra, I think, class, which I think we didn't. That was a move, I think, person, card, and something. Yeah, I think that logic can be written over here. So we have written that logic over here. Which logic? The game, like which which person needs to a person and a card. So actually, taking mapping a person and a card. I think. That's... Okay, that person plays to that card. Hmm. Okay. Might be uh, he's using somewhere, but if you come down, what it is doing is. It is doing a uh, deck of cards. Actually, it is doing some hidden dealer card also. Might be it is used in the game. Then okay. it does give new card to a dealer. And player. Mm -hmm. And this then it does this while loop. Okay. So basically, there is some logic here. Not some, but, like lot of logic. Lot of logic, yeah. Lot of logic, yes. But that sounds good, like... No, I, um, I will say, like, if you get time, just practice. Yeah. End -to -end it's good then, to go through this, yeah. Yeah, then you will have full-fledged uh, end-to-end picture. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. I think we are over time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, I'll stop the recording and... The, uh, the the book club now they moved to uh, 8 p.m. Uh, would um, would anybody interest to um, you know move this schedule up? Uh, like we can start at the six or five thirty. I think people from India, India. they would, uh, yeah. But the Indian people today they don't they have not not joined today so. Uh, the guy joined here also. Okay, I don't yeah. didn't see anyone joining yet. Yeah. That's why I am it's too early, right? For them, I yeah, think yeah it's too early for them. To... Uh, so, but actually, this was a good one. Actually, we discussed the whole of blackjack at least. And share this. I learned most of the things are there. Yeah. 
I'll share this for uh, if anyone wants to go over the logic again. I'll share yeah. this mm -hmm. in a Discord channel. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. So what do we want to do next time? Uh, let me pause. I will. I'm not able to see. One second. Stop recording. Okay. <laughs>